Hey guys, welcome to the 180 Drum Challenge. I'm here with Aaron Gillespie. This guy is blowing our minds with uh, power, endurance, everything, drums. We love him. Um, dude, why don't you tell us what we're working on today and why it's useful? Um, so this is called Crazy Eights, and I, I, I learned this from an old buddy um, who was a big drum line guy, right? Cool. Which I never did. I grew up in uh, playing drums in church, so I never did the drum line thing. But um, I, was, I was on tour, and I was having problems with my left hand. You know, as we all do, Typical. or your yeah. right hand if you're left-handed. Everyone has the idiot hand is what yes. I, I, I tell my students. This is your idiot hands. Are you right-handed or left-handed? If you're yeah. left-handed, your right hand is your idiot hand. If you're right-handed, your left hand is your idiot hand. So this is super simple. Um, so what it is, is is you start with your right hand, or if you're left-handed, start with your left hand. Right. And we'll, we'll mirror the two. So it's eight strokes on your right, okay? Eight strokes on your left, then 16 on your right. That's part awesome. one, okay? And then part two, you just mirror that. So it's... Eight strokes on your left, eight strokes on your right, sixteen strokes on your left. Make sense? Killer. So it Great. looks it looks like this, and and I do it like depends on who you are, how your playing style is. I do it rather hard because I know that I'm going to be going out on a stage, absolutely playing hard. So if if you want to feather it in because that's how you're playing, that's fine. So my recommendation is always to my students is and to you at home is is do this exercise how you're going to be playing the session or how yeah. you're going to be doing the rehearsal in with that intensity. That's great, man. So I start it this way. So it's. Eight, eight, sixteen, eight, eight, sixteen. Right? Perfect. So then you slow it down so you can kind of get the pattern. So part one and part two, this is part one. Part two is just an exact mirror of that. So it's eight, eight, sixteen. And when you're counting this out, when you get to the sixteen section, count two sets of eight. Never go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah. That you're in your brain, and when you're saying that with your mouth, it just becomes a mess. So if Absolutely. you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You get it. That's great, man. You get it. Yeah. That's awesome, dude. So it's super useful for the idiot hand, and and start slow, slow. And then just work your way up. Awesome, man. You know what I mean? Do you want to demonstrate it just for now, again, at a little bit of a slower speed and more power so they can see for just sure. a bit of your technique and how you for approach sure. that? So for me, the slowest I started is about here. So. Awesome, dude. So when you're, this is a true story, by the way. Aaron and I went to the gym last night. We did. And this guy destroyed me in the core section. Like, we did abs, and I don't know how you're just you're superhuman in that area. But when you're playing hard like this, are you drawing from your core? Because it's not easy yeah, to just play hard. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, for me, like, it's it's cool getting to do something like this and explain, like, the, the chemistry behind it, if you yeah, will. Absolutely. But, like, I'm, like... You can hear, if you hear listening to me recording, can, sometimes you can hear like grunt noises. I'm oh, like, I love it. you know, I'm putting it all there, which is my style. You know, yeah. I mean, I, I, somewhat, I, I did lessons last year and I put something up online where, um, like it was on YouTube. Some a student did it, and all these kids commented in the bottom like, his technique is awful. And I'm not saying that powerful technique is for everyone. Sure. So that's why I prefaced earlier was saying in this exercise, do what you do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I play really hard because that's my style. Right, but that's absolutely. that's not a right or wrong way. You know, you could you could be doing, and that's not wrong. You totally. know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, that doesn't make it wrong. That's it's just your thing. Honestly, so funny, man, because I've had lessons with so many different guys, and they all show you a different way, and they're all fantastic players. That's so. the thing. I, I in in your drumming life, in your drumming career, and if it's your hobby, whatever it is, yeah. just be open minded. Yeah. It's like anything else. You know, there's so many guys that I've learned from that aren't my style, yeah. but I've grabbed little snippets of what they do. That's it, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, with, so with this, play it to how it feels comfortable to you. As long as the notes are there, the strokes are there, and yeah. you're doing the exercise, it's helping the idiot hand anyways. Absolutely. So. And by doing a warm-up like this, you find that it reduces any pain after the gig, or it helps you get yeah, through Yeah, I mean, that, the, the reason I start, like I said, like I'm doing this all night. So I Crazy. start with that intensity because... 
I don't want the shock of going out there cold. Oh man. You know what I mean? Like there's yeah. there's that thing you're going to walk out to your church service to your your gig, your bar gig, your arena gig, your stadium gig, yeah. and however you're playing, you should probably give yourself a little taste of that in the back. Absolutely. So that's that's when I started doing this. Someone showed me this and I started doing this and kind of just tailored it to become this thing so it could reduce the shock of going out cold, which is a Do you ever thing. go out without warming up? No. That's amazing. No. That's awesome. Not man. unless it's the kind of thing where like the last year, I've, we've done a lot of flying and stuff, so yeah. sometimes you'll just get dumped off at some studio yeah. somewhere or something, yeah. and they're like, uh, cameras are rolling in 10 minutes, go. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's one of those things you're just like, oh. here we go, let's see how it feels. But for me, I've had surgery on a hand, and I've had things, I'm getting older, so wow. I have to be super careful with my body. So yeah. Crazy Yates is a great way to really get your body loose, get the juices flowing, yeah. um, and especially when you do it at the intensity that you need to be playing at. Man, Whatever that's awesome. Yeah. Dude, thanks so much for breaking that down. We're going to head to the practice video now and work on these with Aaron. Uh, we're going to do it at, what was the first speed we wanted to do it at? 120. We'll 120. start with 120. And we're going to yeah. go up increments of 20 all the way through. See how high we can Dude, go. Dude, let's see it. All right, <laughs> we'll see you guys in the practice video. Killer.